you all might say, why, why does Marquette take out time to make sure that people are with them? I'll tell you why I take out time. You see, I travel around the world. I love going to museums. I really do. I visit palaces. I visit museums. And in there, they have immortalized the great men in their society. And what we have today, we have to be able to recognize who the great men, who our leaders are. And I will be separated from these animals. Princella is an animal. Charleston White is beneath me. We are not the same. We both might be on YouTube, but we are not the same. So yes, I expect my respect to be much higher. Why? Because I've lived an upright life my whole life. I will not be lowered to the level of a criminal or a person who is mentally unwell. Background in cellular molecular biology. Cellular. How are you going to say your background is cellular molecular biology when your ass can't even pronounce it? My, my background is cellular molecular biology. Call the ambulance. <laughs> my background in cellular molecular biology, cellular molecular I biology. learned how to analyze and process information by uh, observation. Listen to me. One thing I want you guys to observe is that, you see, this is the reason that black folks get made fun of by white folks or by people who are not black. The fact of the matter is we don't raise up the best among us as our ideal or as our example. We raise up the one who can barely speak English. We raise up the athlete. We raise up the so social media superstar, the most respectable black people you guys don't even know the names of. How many of you guys know Dr. Ben Carson? I've met him personally. How many of you know who he is? How many of you know why Dr. Ben Carson is famous the world over? How many of you guys know who, you white, I, I'm not gonna ask you, you white, you don't need to know these things. How many of you guys know who Martin Delaney is? Huh? I can go on indefinitely. I can name black heroes, but they're not a hero to you because they can't rap. <laughs> I can name black heroes, but they're not a hero to you because they can't dance. I can name black heroes, but they're not a hero to you because they don't have a social media presence. Huh? There's one famous black economist. I'll let someone in the chat name his name. Famous black economist. And he's very well known on YouTube, but he's still not very well known to black people. I'll give you guys some time to share his name. Little quiz for the blacks watching. Someone put, uh, hold on, someone put, uh, <laughs> so I, I wrote, I said, who is Dr. Ben Carson? And then someone's wrote, uh, first African-American neurosurgeon. Not quite. That's that's good. That's more than most people know. That is a lot more than most people know. Dr. Ben Carson is famous for pioneering a surgical method. He's a neurosurgeon. He was the first person to successfully separate occipitally conjoined craniospagus twins. Marquette, what does that mean? You heard of Siamese twins? Sometimes they're connected at the spine. Sometimes they're connected at the brain. That's a major issue when you're connected at the brain because when you are detached, you will uh, the twins will insinguinate, meaning bleed to death. He was able to detach occipitally conjoined, which means they're they're joined at that part of the brain without them dying. He pioneered a surgical method. The man is an actual genius among us, an actual genius, not like Kanye West who claims he's a genius. Oh, you're a genius for making beats? Stop it, how sway? Dr. Ben Carson is an actual genius, and this is why you should love and revere Dr. Ben Carson. Similar to myself, he's a very high IQ black man. Why should that be important to you? What is the basis of most of the anti-black racism? It is the accusation that blacks have low IQ. Blacks are intellectually inferior. And we see examples of this all the time when you listen to drill rappers who can scarcely speak English. We call it mumble rap. There's a whole goddamn subgenre of hip hop organized around black men failing to enunciate a language that they were raised on. Huh? So you want to stop racism. You'll never stop racism by begging others, non-blacks, to not be racist against blacks. You will stop it by giving the example that you say we're intellectually inferior, but look at Dr. Ben Car uh, Carson, huh? Look at Hans Monslinger, huh? And then you can name all of these people who have made meaningful inventions and contributions to human life. 
but you know none of these folks. Huh? Come on now. Yeah, that's right. Thomas Sowell, one of the greatest black thinkers of our day. But so few know who he is. Come on now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is what I, I meant to say. When you have these uneducated blacks, which is to say it, uneducated and dumb are not the same thing. Only in this case, they're both uneducated and they're dumb. You heard me? I personally know hustlers, real hustlers. You dig? You know, hustlers, you know, when people say, I think I'm Big Meech. Oh, no, I, I know people who are actually more similar to Big Meech. You are a probation officer and now you're a rapper. No, I know people who are more similar to Big Meech. Very intelligent, but they're uneducated. They're intelligent and uneducated, which is fine. But this broad is both uneducated and stupid. Bad combination. So what happens is you have the Charleston White, you have the uh, Prince fella, the Queen Faker, you have them speaking in front of a microphone, and they sound stupid. And what's worse is they try to put together ideas, they use poor diction, which is to say they use the wrong word, or they use a polysyllabic word incorrectly. They sound like idiots to all who are intelligent, but to those who are uneducated, they're like, oh, she's smart, she's smart. Because she's using words you don't know. But here's the funny thing, she doesn't know the word either. But see, the difference between her viewer and her is that she's a confidence man. A confidence man is another term for a con man or a con artist. Both you and her don't know the word, but she is projecting confidence and she is a great dissembler and pretender. And so she fools you. During my debate with her, I used words consistently that she did not know the meaning of because I'm a gentleman. I did not call her out for being an idiot or being uneducated because I know part of the audience doesn't know the damn word either. I asked her to name me two matriarchal hegemons. She doesn't even know what the word matriarchy means, even though she uses it all the time. She certainly does not know what the word hegemon means, nor does she understand what hegemony is. I didn't call her out on that, but it was clear as day. She didn't know the meaning. That's why she couldn't answer the question. And even if she did know the meaning, she doesn't know the history. Huh? She's a cold con artist. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. with yeah. that, yeah. So cell and molecular biology did that. Cell and molecular then biology spending did eight that. years in the How idiotic does she sound? She just claimed that a degree that she's not finished. She claimed a degree that she has not finished, has not earned, has not completed. She claimed that courses at a community college in cellular molecular biology, which she can't pronounce, taught her how to understand the world. No, dear, that's not what cellular molecular biology does it is a specialization it makes your understanding quite narrow and expert in that field come on now you're lying military and, and notice the whole time you listen to this conversation among these low iq persons no one ever objects no one's objecting here because they've not yet hurt each other's feelings because low iq people operate based on feelings so as long as they're not hurting each other's feelings and they verify that they share the same traumas, we're going to just say what we say, whether it's sensible or not. Going through officer candidate school and um, ordinance uh, uh, to be, become oh. an ordinance officer, mm -hmm. I learned how to. Oh, drinking alcohol during the show. That's a great example. The black people, you see, I used to hustle in Skid Row in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out, out outside off the porch. A lot of the things the rappers, you know, they say they did. I've actually done them. A lot of those things that I don't think they've done. You know, why I don't think they've done it because when you do those things, you're forever paranoid that those things will catch up with you. You would never say that on a record. Anyways, point is this. When I used to hustle out on Skid Row, you know, I would observe you got, you got hookers, you got trannies, and you have an infinite army of drug addicts. Scariest thing you'd ever want to see. People half alive, human zombies, most of them black. Now, how is it that in Skid Row, the majority of people are black, but in America, a mere 12% of people are black? Well, how's that add up? Yes, drugs have destroyed the black community, drugs and alcohol. But we have these persons here who are no example to black people or to any people, and what they do is they consume alcohol in front of you. This is an advertisement. Whether they know it or not, they are advertising 
the consumption of intoxicants. And that is why I tell you, don't you ever measure me up against any of these nerds, liars, or fools, or or babblers in any of these areas of YouTube, the manosphere, the negrosphere, whatever you want to call it. You'll never see me consuming alcohol on camera or off camera. You will never see me light up a cigar to pretend to be a boss. A boss is a boss. A king is a king without a crown. When you put on the crown, you don't become the king. Huh? When you light up a cigar, you do not become a boss. They've been watching too much TV. You're dealing with actors. You're dealing with people who put on a costume and they think if they look the part, they can fool you into thinking they are the part. What kind of real man smokes a cigar? Huh? And then would do that on, on camera as though it's a good example. Now their clothing stinks and their lungs suffer. And then you have imbeciles in the chat holder. Marquette, cigars are not as bad as cigarettes. Well, tell me, what is the health value of a cigar, my dear boy? Please bless me with knowledge. Bless me with knowledge. Yes, I, for breakfast, I had oats, raisins, almond slices, and, and uh, oat milk. Yeah, I can tell you the nutritional value and the health value of that. You tell me, what's the health value of a cigar, idiot? Let none of you be so low and so emotional that you become a fanboy of some male celebrity, and who would want to be a celebrity, of a male celebrity such that you don't become, you, you stop thinking, you are no longer critical. You make a god of a man. You make a god of a low man. You don't even make a god of a great man. You make a god of a low man, of a criminal. Come on now. Lead. So not Damn, only baby, do I know how to shit out that one, she hit it hard. I lead myself. I know how to lead others, but I also know how to see if somebody else is capable of leadership or not. Then she says she knows how to lead others. I would have asked her, oh, hold on one second. You know how to lead others? What corporation have you led? What corporation have you founded and led? She'd be like, none, zero. Oh, I thought you know how to lead others. Okay. Curious with my studies well with um being a top salesman in the car industry working around men that is a male dominated industry <laughs> being a top salesman salesman's not a leader a salesman is direct to consumer in the car industry right if you're selling cars you're selling it direct to the consumer you're interfacing one-on-one -on -one with the buyer you're not leading a team you see this is how i can tell the extent of her wealth and of her business experience, because if you're high up in sales, it's not called sales. It's called business development. And you might be managing someone. You might be doing big deals. This is how an experienced man can listen and look at her and tell she's clearly a fraud. But to a young, ignorant, traumatized girl or to a single mother who's never left Compton, you hear me? She's been in Watts her whole life. She's been on West Side Denver Lane PDA her whole life. Yeah, this might sound sensible. This is about as snake as you can get if you ain't do doing dope and stuff like that. That's about as snake as you can get. Wait, was that a word? Did they say snakeish? Snakeishes? I'm dealing with males. I'm succeeding in this rough. You're not succeeding because you were broke just uh just what like five months ago when I did the first interview. You were broke. You were not succeeding. You're lying. Hard core industry right wait I, did she call car sales a hardcore industry this is ludicrous software is the most competitive industry on earth i'll tell you why it's competitive it's competitive because you have massive corporations that are very fabulously capitalized like a facebook or a microsoft or an apple and they even can be destroyed by a small startup that's run out of someone's garage huh that's massive competition. You have to compete with the behemoth that has an infinite amount of money. And you have to compete with some kid who went to Stanford or Berkeley or Harvard and is a genius. Him and two of his buddies can destroy your company in a matter of days by a technology they create. That is the most competitive industry on earth, you dumb dingbat broad. Car sales is not competitive. It's only competitive to a broke imbecile who has no experience. I learned firsthand in the field, human behavior and human psychology. Wow. And by me being a tom did this dumb bitch, and I hate to have to say that, but did this dumb 
bitch just claimed that being a car salesman, as she calls it, or English skills are so bad, she does not say saleswoman, salesperson. Being a car salesperson, is she claiming that that taught her how to understand human psychology? Please, give me a break. We have Major Brian and Soul said, she's still hiding that hairline out here looking like Nelly with the hat to the side. Bruh, listen to me. In the thumbnail, my boy, look at the thumbnail. She's wearing a visor. You know, visor's cut off right here. You can still see her hairline is, uh, you can see her forehead above the visor. That's not even how visors work. How your hairline so far back, you're wearing a visor. I can still see your forehead above the visor. That's not how they work. I mean, the crazy thing, brethren, is um, she need a hair transplant. Just real talk. Can we get her to Turkey immediately? Can somebody call BBMLD and get her to Turkey? Just get her fixed up real quick. I will put in some money for this one. Yeah, I will. Because listen to me, that's the kind of thing make you an atheist. If I was a female and my hairline was right here, I would stop believing in God. I'm like, if there is a God, he's cursed me, or maybe there isn't, because this just ain't right. Carrying on. And most of my friends being males, I have gathered a wide variety of information that I've been able to piece together. Shut up. Okay, so you'll notice the same thing with her and Charleston. Why? I just figured out they're actually the same person. They're both the raggediest version of the male and the female. They both have absolutely no value on the dating sex marketplace when i look at princella i'd be like damn five maybe 10 15 years in the pen i would have to do before i consider beating at least 15 you know years in the pen before i would consider beating that down it will man listen to me listen to me she's busted okay so she is completely low down on the low and you know what shout out to the lesbians because Every now and then you see a lesbian and you're like, gosh, she got some knockers on her. Bring her back to the, bring her back. We need her on this side of the fence. Or you might see one of them, them uh, bull dyke lesbians. And you're like, gosh, she turbo thick. Damn, she thicker than a snicker. And you're like, ah, we could use you. Come back. But then you see lesbians like Princella. And you're like, you know what? Stay on that side. You are not welcomed over here. You left. You don't need to come back. We're good. You know, you see lesbians like Princella, and you're like, you know what? We didn't take a loss. You know, men did not take a loss on this one. I, I think we feel good with this trade. <laughs> you hear me? She's busted. And then the worst thing, there's nothing worse than being uh, stupid and ugly. There's nothing worse than that. There's nothing worse. Very few things worse than that. But she takes it on a third thing that I didn't even know about. She said, okay, I'm going to be stupid, ugly, and tacky. Goddamn, and tacky. Can somebody tell this bitch that your ass cannot be wearing a goddamn backwards snapback with a hairline and a hair hat underneath it? I mean, that's not right. First off, you're a woman. There's no need to wear a snapback. That's just weird. Moreover, you got the nerve to put the wig on under the snapback. And so the snapback really can't even like close that much. Uh, you got it all. You got she on the last snap. You heard me? You know how you got the last two snaps? This bitch on the last two snaps just to fit the shit over her head. It's ridiculous, man. And shout out to this, this big busty sister on the side. Somebody tell her to holler at me. I actually do want to have a conversation with her on a number of different levels for a variety of purposes to give a whole picture so not only oh yeah i didn't even get to charleston white yeah okay so there's there's charleston white so princella is at the bottom of the barrel in terms of the sexual marketplace it's like nobody wants you uh like you know she the kind of bitch you could send butt ass naked through a dark alley at 2 a.m in mexico and she gonna be fine walking through tijuana in a dark alley at 2 a.m she's gonna come out of there without a scratch on her ain't nobody gonna say shit to her she gonna be invisible in that motherfucker this is the kind of bitch you could basically send her into a men's prison in the middle of the night Turn on the lights with her butt ass naked. Go on the loudspeaker. Men, have your way with her. Niggas will look out like, ah, I ain't been in jail that long. I ain't been in jail that long. You got to send that bitch to death row. Maybe them brothers will give it a shot. Then you got Charleston White. And this Nick, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call him a Nick, but this young man right here, he got the goddamn body of a third grader in Ethiopia, okay? And I ain't talking about the affluent part of Ethiopia. I'm talking about the part you see on the UNICEF commercials where the goddamn fly land on the baby's eyeball and the baby don't even blink. He just be lit, standing there with yellow eyes staring into the camera. This motherfucker weighs about a buck 20. He's about five foot 
five, got a lazy eye. He's 46 and he's an ex-con. I don't even think a dumb black chick on EBT is about to fuck with this. Like, this is all bad from far away. You know, when these black chicks get married by Pookie and Tyrone, at least Pookie and Tyrone look like he could lay some pipe. Charleston looked like he's shaped like a pipe, a skinny, small, thin pipe. This man looked malnourished. He don't look like he got it in him. This the kind of dude probably got retarded sperm. You know what I mean? I don't know how slow kids come into the world. I'm just assuming that slow kids come into the world because you had retarded sperm. I, this nigga looked like the one. His sperm get in there, don't know which way to swim. They swimming into each other, playing bumper cars and shit. This boy is all bad. He is exactly what people are talking about when they say we need eugenics. We need to discontinue his line of DNA. I hope the boy don't have kids. But if he did have kids and one of them was a girl, is her both her eyes working? I never figured out whatever happened to that one eye. I'm curious because I don't see any scarring or damage around the eye socket. Did he just come out like that? When he was a baby and he started crying, was he crying and that one eye was just sad, drooping down? Can he even have tears come out of that eye? Do tears come out of both eyes or just one eye? I'm personally curious. And why is he always wearing a hat too? Goddamn, switch your shit up. Marquette on uh, Marquette Devon on Instagram. You see, I switch my shit up. Sometimes I'm the bald head lover. Sometimes I'm wearing a hat. But this ball and this girl, they always wearing the hat. They are reflections, mirror reflections of each other, which is to say the bottom of the black barrel, the bottom. Yet us as a sick people have exalted both of them. It speaks poorly of us. Eh? Do I have leadership, science? I have philosophy, oh God. philosophy under my belt, ecology, the I have ecology? political Shouldn't science, you know what the fuck I that have mean? Uh, sociology. Psych- Wait, how stupid is this broad? How stupid is her audience? This dumb bitch ain't even got a bachelor's degree and she didn't just named off eight disciplines claiming to be an expert in all of them. I got ecology. Don't even know what that means. I got psychology. I got sociology. I got, I, this is ridiculous. Who believes this? Ecology, human behavior. I have all of these subjects under my belt. Under th- my belt. Bitch, no one in the civilized world claims to be a master of all things. And no educated person claims to be knowledgeable in a field in which they do not have a degree. What makes you think, you dumb, broke, single mom, that we view you as a polymath? Why would you think that? This is outrageous. This bitch is over here acting like she's Hippocrates. Bitch thinks she's Imhotep. Black people, how dumb are you? Damn near turned me into a racist. I'm damn near wondering how dumb black people are. Follow this broad. Back up everything that I say. And what I found out is that this world is 180 degrees upside down on its head. And and wait, did a lesbian say that the world is 180 degrees upside down? You can't even figure out that goes in the you can't even figure that out. You think that two sockets work together. Like what are you gonna what is this? But you claim that the world is upside down. You're a grown 40-something-year-old woman wearing a snapback. You're a grown woman wearing a snapback. Knock it off. In order for this world to be better, you have to put women back in charge. Because Can without- somebody ask her when were they in charge? I mean, where, were they? where was I at? Where were the historians at? What do you mean put women back in charge? And that's another thing that lets you know she's low IQ. I can assure you of this. Those who have power do not need to be put in power. Those who are powerful do not need to be put in power. Understand this. This is an ailment that was bit common among the blacks. You would hear them say something like, give us our freedom. Oh, you are not a man. No one can give you your freedom. You already have it. You must only exercise your freedom or you must take your freedom. But no man can give you your freedom. That is the mentality that kept black people in bondage for hundreds of years. Believe that. Women knowing better so that they can do better. We will not have a functioning society and we will not have a planet that is viable for us to live as humans. So I'm here to. Wow. Does this broad think she's a super plant, a, a superhero? Y'all ever saw Captain Planet? You ever seen Captain Planet? 
it, it used to be everybody would have their own ring. It was like a different color, like a blue ring, a green ring, and they all had like a different superpower. And they would come together and they was like, you know, with, with earth, water, fire, wind. And they each had a color associated with their, their ring. And when they come together, they're like, we all, cap we together, we call Captain Planet. And then the nigga, Captain Planet would show up. It was like a white man with green hair. The boy would show up and he would like do some crazy shit, just like beat all the, the villains and the bad guys. But I'm just, I feel like this bitch thinks she's like all of those characters rolled into one. She's like, I have ecology, I have sociology. I have, and then the bitch is like, without putting women in charge, we are not going to be able to save and have a viable world with a functioning society. Are you stupid? Bitch, the, the society has been functioning for a long time now. And what do you mean a viable plan? Like, who are you? You're a dumb single mom who can scarcely speak English. Like, no one who has any money, power, or intelligence, like, respects you. Only lower class, unemployed, traumatized, blacks in poverty will listen to you. No one legitimate will listen to you fumble through the English language. And this is just a bad, rep this is a representation of the blacks. And you might say, Marquette, you're hard on us. No, 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 no. No, not only will I tell the truth about you, as you really are, you check my background, I've built you up. You check my background, check my very first job, the first legal one, check my very first job, and check my career. I've been a teacher of the black people, Baltimore, Maryland, that's a black city, if you ever wanted to see a black city. I taught public school in Baltimore. I had two students that weren't black, both Latino. Every other student out of 150 each year, all black. Built a nonprofit, served black families, black kids. Huh? Donated tremendous amounts of money after I finished the nonprofit. Now, I build you up. I train you. But I will also be honest with you. But let you not be fooled by those who have done nothing for you. You see, when, when Princella was debating with me, well, she called herself debating. She was really getting obliterated, getting her self-esteem pushed even further. I had her on suicide watch after that debate. I said, what have you built? She said, I build minds. Why would she say such a thing? Because you can't verify that. Anyone could say that. You ask me, what have I built? Well, I built a nonprofit called Five Fingers. It was for black boys in Baltimore, Maryland, to teach them skills of communication, which is critical to prevent violence. For you have a city with a tremendous amount of black on black violence. And I could go on indefinitely telling you what I've built, what I've done for black people. And if we want to set black people aside, we can tell you what I've done for other communities. I'm a builder. That's what a real man is. She is a consumer. She is a parasite. She is a grifter. She is a liar. She is a con artist. 